Hello everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Today what we're going to be doing is covering a little bit of information going back on the month of June, just chatting to you about some stuff to do with trading, the markets, investing, and more specifically exactly what we are getting up to with our students and with our training programs. So hang in, put your feet up, and make sure to keep tuned because by the end of this video I have a very, very big announcement that I want to make to all of you that's going to make life a lot easier for students out there who want to learn a lot more about trading and investing. So just to give you a little bit of news, uh, what we actually did at MS Equities Trading is for myself, I have been trading privately with some clients for a quite a long period of time and I've been managing their portfolios. What I've decided to do is actually expand my network and open up what we call a closed network investment portal where we're able to invest and trade on other clients' behalves. So depending on where you're watching this from, there are multiple different regulations around the world, a lot of very stringent procedures that you have to abide by and policies that you have to adhere to. So effectively what we've done with our investment fund is we've created a full closed network fund where we connect directly privately with our investors and we speak to them, we see how we can manage their portfolios. So this investment fund is not open to the public, it is not running to anyone who just wants to come in and step in and invest when they want to. It is a full private uh, consultation process and this is just due, due to the fact that with the policies that we have to adhere to with the FSB in South Africa, we're making sure that we're keeping everyone happy and we're not breaking any laws. So for the first month that we've been running the fund publicly, we have been able to produce very good returns for our clients. So the big reason why I'm going to make use of this as an example is more specifically because this is full published results and also more specifically this is what the company's portfolios are moving in. So in terms of what we do at MS Equities Trading, we are a trading and investment academy. We teach people how to trade and invest and manage their wealth a lot better to the level that they are actually able to produce a long-term return for themselves. And in some cases, not every case, they are also able to produce a living off of it that they can use on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, something I need to make very clear is even though we do train a huge amount of students, we are able to train them around the world, we still have times when we're not able to do our best and we're actually working with students that sometimes might not be able to apply themselves fully. But what we've been focusing on is by providing an online training platform to all of our students, we've been focusing on coaching them privately, working with them on a consistent basis. And that is why we've come up with some pretty awesome uh, results. And we've also decided that we're going to be offering up some very interesting things that I'll talk to you about just now. But without further ado, what I'm just going to do is show you some results of what's been happening with what we call our Alpha Capital Fund. So with everything that I teach my students, I use the exact same principles in the Alpha Capital Fund. I'm making sure that I practice what I preach and what I'm actually teaching is actually working and it is making money. The main thing that you have to focus on is 10% of what you need to know to become a very good trader is just the practical application. That's sort of how it works, when it works, why it works. The 90% of it is the practice. The 90% of it is understanding your risk management, being in actual simulations, being in the real trading process. You know, that, that is exactly where you actually learn about it. Think of it this way. If you learn everything about going to gym, training, supplementation, exactly how to do it down to the point, then you might be very intelligent in that respect, but you're never going to change, grow, lose weight, get bigger, if you don't actually go into gym and lift the weights. Exact same thing applies to trading. You actually have to step in, get the practice in, and actually show what you're doing. So that's what we're doing with the Alpha Capital Fund, is we're actually using it to lead by example to show you that we really do practice what we preach, we really do know what we're doing, and that we're showing our students as well. So basically what we focused on this month was creating, or should I say for June, we focused on creating an exposure of 60% to forex pairs and 40% to commodity pairs. So as some of you may know, the oil price on commodities on oil, the Brent crude price, dropped close to $44 a barrel. I think it actually went a little bit beyond that. And there was a huge opportunity to enter on a buy position after such a long period of sell-offs. 
I actually not only warned to a lot of my students that this was going to happen, but I actually did it myself and I entered on a few buy orders. We entered on quite a few small positions to try and create a really low risk exposure and I managed to create quite a good profit off of that. So a few of my students also entered on it. Some of them are still holding out and they're doing very well. They've just sort of tipped at the $49 region and today there's been quite a big pullback. Um, but I decided to close off my trades a little bit early, which was a bit juvenile of me. Uh, but I felt like I wanted to be money out of the market before the rollover at the end of the month. Also with FOMC coming up this week, uh, there is a lot of volatility in the market, especially because the pressing matters with North Korea. Uh, the UN is having a look at uh, approaching them quite forcefully and directly. That could cause some serious problems with the market. More specifically towards the Forex pairs, I had quite a few opportunities on trading Forex. I was able to capitalize on quite a few of them. Majority of the trades that we had a look at, we didn't have to hedge our positions out. So from time to time, what we do do is hedge our positions on co-correlating pairs, or sometimes we might hedge our position on the exact same pair. If we know the market might turn around, but we still think that there might be room to move, we're obviously going to put a hedging position in on that, on that pair, which I teach my students as well. So say for example, we know that the market is gonna turn and go negative, so we put in a few sell orders, but we add a buy order in that as well to try and hedge out the position. If we think the market is gonna move a little bit higher, we close out that position when we feel that the market has reached its limit and is going to pull back. So from time to time, this uh, strategy works incredibly well for us and it not only is able to create a lot of security in our positions, but it, actually is a, is, but it actually is able to make us a good amount of money. Another position that we had a look at was the Aussie dollar Swiss franc, and that position actually worked out very well. Luckily, we only needed to enter sell positions on that pair because my justification behind my trading plan was quite good, and we had a very, very good grounding that we knew the pair was going to turn negative and that we'd be able to sell into Aussie dollar Swiss franc. So we entered a few sell orders, we hold those positions quite well, but what I did is used a Martingale trading technique. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking Martingale sounds like a gambling technique. Well right, the word Martingale is a gambling technique. Effectively what you're doing is you are doubling up your position every single time or doubling up your bets in the hope that when you, when you win, even if you've lost up to that point, but when you win, you'll make back everything you lost and more. More specifically speaking, on a trading term, what a Martingale strategy would do is, let's say for example, the, the market we do understand that it is going to pull back and go back into a negative, but the market keeps on moving up. So we enter a sell position and the market moves up a little bit, we enter an additional sell position. Sometimes we might enter on a bigger lot size or we might double the lot size and we might keep on doing that until we find a limit on the market. Now that sounds crazy, but when we're trading very, very small risk exposure, it actually makes it a lot easier. You know, for me, I'm able to do this and have massive room to move on my portfolio and still only be down a maximum drawdown of one and a half to 2%. So it is really, really good that I'm able to do that and trade an open Martingale strategy and not open my portfolio up to a large amount of risk. Now, a lot of people that I know might use the exact same strategy, but they might open their portfolio to up to 40, 50% drawdown on a single trade. And that is where you can land up causing major issues. When I'm trading a Martingale strategy, I'll try and trade an additional pair that is correlating either in the direct opposite direction, or it might be trading off of completely different news. So I know that I've got different positions in the market that could balance out any losses that might be running. So any active drawdowns that are not realized, so any floating drawdowns, sometimes are actually pulled flat or slightly forward on the position. So that is just to make sure that the portfolio is not running at a major risk profile in any point in time, which is obviously things that we teach the students, but that is some of the positions that I made use of. So in terms of the exposure, we had a 43% exposure to buy orders and a 57% exposure to sell orders. So I was sell order intensive, but as you can see, some of the positions were hedged out and some of the positions were also uh, sell orders only, more specifically because we did see that there was an opportunity for the market to see quite a few sell orders. 
In terms of the performance that we had a look at, so for the June report, we executed a total of 28 trades. We had only a total of three losing trades and it was a total profitability of 89%. So 89% we're very happy with, you know, for myself over the past three years of trading, I have probably averaged anything between 74 to 85% profitability ratio across anything up to 700 trades that I've executed. So I'm very happy to see that I'm able to keep a very positive profitability ratio. This not only allows me to open up the portfolio to more exposure, knowing that I'm going to win more often than not, it also means that it is a very safe investment environment that I'm creating. In terms of the maximum drawdown, we had only a 1.31% maximum drawdown, which means that we the total loss on the entire portfolio was only 1.31%. I was still very unhappy with this, even though it does happen from time to time. I had a short squeeze on a position that hit my stop loss. It really wasn't supposed to cause a short squeeze, but I did get unfortunate. I unfortunately did get stuck and I did lose out on that position. The position still came back into profit and uh, would have been able to make me at least 3% gain on that position. But unfortunately, I was unlucky. For the performance for the month of June, a 7.56% monthly gain was quite a good gain that we saw. In terms of the profitability, I got to a point at about 4.2% where I felt that the portfolio was looking very healthy, it was running well, but in terms of the position on oil, it held out quite a long time, moving much further down than I expected. I entered close to $45 a barrel, it moved all the way down to $44 a barrel, um, but it still managed to retrace and I was able to ma make money. In terms of one of the positions I'm currently holding, which I'm hoping to make quite a good profit on, on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen, I had a position that I was holding out on and there was a massive sell spike on, uh, on the position and it closed out one of my positions in profit, which spiked our equity gain a huge amount. I was going to hold out that position for a much longer period of time, but because of that sell spike and my take profit being a, a slightly too close, I closed out that position in quite a lot of profit. So it was quite a big jump, nearly a 1.5% gain in a single day. So that averaged out at 0.38% daily gain, which I was very happy with, and that is something I want to consistently keep on growing and holding into the rest of next month and in going into July, August and the rest of the months. So in terms of that, I was very, very happy with how the performance went with the fund. In terms of my students, I did work with some of my students. Some of them did well. Some of them had a few losses in June, but I was very happy right across the board that we've been working together. I've been sending them out some trading plans. So I don't send out signals. I just send out straightforward trading plans. They work on it, I work on it, that we make sure that everyone can create a profitable future for their portfolios. So something that I needed to say to you is that I've obviously been very happy that for my investments, I've been able to create quite a good return on investment. You know, I'm producing in a single month, nearly one and a half times what my retirement policy is producing me over an entire year. And that's what I'm working with, with a huge amount of my investors. Once I'm able to get the entire process running full speed, my main focus is to try and work with family investors and small portfolio investors to try and see how we're able to grow their portfolios and grow them a lot faster than the status quo, which is obviously a very low return on investment in the South African market and across a few of the other international markets. You know, the return that you're getting for your money is not as high as uh, you'd expect, especially when you're working with big uh, retail banks and investment banks. Not to bash them at all, but you know, that is what it is sometimes, you know, if I'm able to produce a better return for some of my investors and for my students alike, that is something that I want to focus on. So that is obviously in the future plans. Uh, we're not going to be going public with anything right now, but hopefully in the next few months to a year or two, everything is going to be running full speed and we can happily get going. But without further ado, there is some important news that I want to give to you. So what I've decided to do over the past uh, couple weeks is come up with ideas that I want to give back to my students with. And one of the biggest ideas that I came up with is a payback program. So what we're actually going to be providing to all of our students is a payback program. So this payback program is not going to just be uh, in terms of what I'm going to be giving back to my students, but my brokerage, BD Swiss Brokerage, they have really come to the board on this. Uh, they've helped me out a huge amount with getting this project together. 
but they are going to be actually providing a cashback as well. So that is going to be amazing for all students that trade on my BD Swiss brokerage platform. They are going to actually provide them a full cashback rebate to the price of their course as well. So obviously we're working together. There's some terms and conditions that you'd actually have to have a look through, but that's what we're focusing on doing is providing a full cashback program. So all the students that are coming through the MS Equities Academy are actually able to get their entire course tuition back. And you know, even though our course tuitions are already a lot lower than what we're, what the majority of the market is offering, we're still wanting to give back to our students. And that is the most important thing. In MS Equities, everything that we revolve around is about learning how to make money, how to produce a return, how to get money back, how to make money off of additional income and expense streams that you might not have thought of using. And that is what we're doing with all of our students. We're not just teaching them about trading, we're teaching them about investing, wealth management, how to produce additional streams of income. And all of those tied together has created a very lucrative platform for our students to learn about how to make money and make money at the exact same time. It is what we're hoping to call a very healthy learning environment. And we're doing our absolute best to make sure that every single one of the students are happy and that they are getting the support that they need to grow and change from a student all the way into becoming a proper trader. So what I'm going to do is for the month of July, we're going to be offering up a pretty awesome payback program. What we're going to be doing is not only offering up a 20% discount on all students that sign up, we're also going to be offering the full payback program as well. On top of that, for all students that are under the age of 25, if you are studying right now in anything like a degree course, a part-time study course, a certificate course, we will be giving you a 50% scholarship discount as well. So for all international users, the price of the courses are all up online. It's basically averaging about $600 per person for an entire 12 month tuition. And it averages out at about 6,750 Rand for the South African market. To all scholarship students, you'll be receiving a 50% discount on this tuition. On top of that, what we're also doing is providing payment plans to all of our students as well. So our students are able to pay off this program for a long period of time, which not only makes it a lot easier for them to study and not worry about having to wait a few months to save up for the programs, it means that they can get on board right now, get making money and do well. So for the month of June, we've been very happy to build up this project. Like I said, in partnership with BD Swiss, I really have to give thanks to them for stepping up to the plate and helping me so much with this program. But other than that, we're working very hard on creating a healthy and supportive learning environment where our students can not only learn about making money, but that they can make money at the same time. I wanted to go back to something that I mentioned right in the beginning. Like I said, in terms of learning about how to trade and invest, you need to take it very seriously. You know, this is a tough environment to get into, but I really have to say to you, the most important thing is the more you learn, the better you do. The better you do, the more you make. For some of my students, they've started out making just a few dollars a month and slowly but surely they've been able to grow to make a few hundred dollars a month. And some of my students have even been able to achieve making a few thousand dollars a month. Those are very few and far between but that is where I want to get every single one of my students to. I want them to get to a point where they can actually produce a very serious income for themselves that they can actually live off of. Very few people are able to get to that point, but I feel that the biggest problem contributing to that is that they haven't been given the proper, that is, but I feel the main problem that has been contributing to this is that they haven't been given the proper support and guidance and training environment that they're able to learn and grow and become a really good trader and a really good risk manager. And that is what we're building. So slowly but surely, we want to take every one of our students to that point. We want them to have that goal of ultimate success. That is what I'm providing and that is what I'm going to make sure we continue to provide through our brokerage, our investment group and our trading academy. So thanks to everyone who's managed to hold out all the way to the end. I'm going to leave all the links down below in the description. If you have to contact me, 
find us on our website. You can contact us directly and we'll be in contact with you very soon. We'll make sure we can help you out and we can get you going. Without further ado, I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Cheers for now.